light and God, the rule and guide. Amen. Yeah, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Sisters and brothers, good morning. Good morning. Our entrance hymn number 303, The King of Glory. The King of Glory comes, the nation rejoices. Open the gates before him, lift up your voices. Who is the King of Glory? How shall we call him? He is Emmanuel, the promise of ages, the King of glory comes, the nation rejoices, open the gates before him, lift up your voices, in all of Galilee, in city and village, he goes among his people, curing their illness, the King of glory comes, the nation rejoices, Open the gates before him, lift up your voices. Sing then of David, son, for Savior and brother. In all of Galilee was never another. The King of glory comes, the nation rejoices. Open the gates before him, lift up your voices. He gave his life for us, the pledge of salvation. He took upon himself the sins of the nations. The King of glory comes, the nation rejoices. Open the gates before him, lift up your voices. Good morning to everybody. Good morning. And let us bless our God in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My sisters, my brothers, let us now call to mind our sins. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May God Almighty have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Week one, Wednesday. In your light, God, we see light. Sin speaks to the sinner in the depths of his heart. There is no fear of God before his eyes. He so flattered himself in his mind that he knows not his guilt. In his mouth are mischief and deceit. All wisdom is gone. He plots the defeat of goodness as he lies on his bed. He has set his foot on evil ways. He clings to what is evil. Your love, Lord, reaches to the heaven. Your truth to the skies. Your justice is like God's mountain, your judgments like the deep. To both men and beasts you give protection. O oh Lord, how precious is your love. My God, the Son of Man, find refuge in the shelter of your wings. They feast on the riches of your house. They drink from the stream of your delight. In you is the source of life, and in your light we see light. Keep on loving those who know you, doing justice for upright hearts. Let the foot of the proud not crush me, nor the hand of the wicked cast me out. See how evildoers fall, flung down, they shall never arise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In your, in your light, light, God, we, we see, see light. light. Lord, you are great, you are glorious, you are wonderfully strong. Begin a song to my God with tambourines. Sing to my Lord with cymbals. Raise to him a new song. 
exalt him and call upon his name. For God is the Lord who crushes wars. I will sing to my God a new song. O Lord, you are great and glorious, wonderful in strength, invincible. Let all your creatures serve you, for you spoke and they were made. You sent forth your spirit and it formed them. There is none that can resist your voice. For the mountains shall be shaken to their foundations with the water. At your presence, the rock shall melt like wax. But to those who fear you, you will continue to show mercy. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it's now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord, you are great, you are glorious, you are wonderfully strong. All peoples, clap your hands. Cry to God with shouts of joy. For the Lord, the Most High, we must fear, great King over all the earth. He subdues peoples under us, and nations on our feet. Our inheritance, our glory is from him, given to Jacob out of love. God goes up with shouts of joy. The Lord ascend with trumpet blast. Sing praise for God, sing praise. Sing praise to our King, sing praise. God is King of all the earth, sing praise with all your skill. God is King over the nations, God reigns on his holy throne. The princes of the peoples are assembled with the people of Abraham's God. The rulers of the earth belong to God, to God who reigns over all. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it's now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Cry, Cry to, to God, God with, with shouts, shouts of joy. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord our God, the constant gladness of being devoted to you. For it is full and lasting happiness to serve with constancy the author of all that is good. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Reading from the book of the Apocalypse. In my vision, I, John, saw a door open in heaven and heard the same voice speaking to me, the voice like a trumpet, saying, Come up here. I will show you what is to come in the future. With that, the Spirit possessed me, and I saw a throne standing in heaven. And the one who was sitting on the throne, and the person sitting there looked like a diamond and a ruby. There was a rainbow encircling the throne, and this looked like an emerald. Around the throne, in a circle, were 24 thrones, and on them I saw 24 elders sitting, dressed in white robes with golden crowns on their head. Flashes of lightning were coming from the throne, and the sound of peals of thunder. And in front of the throne, there were seven flaming lamps burning, the seven spirits of God. Between the throne and myself, was a sea that seemed to be made of glass, like crystal. In the center, grouped around the throne itself, were four animals with many eyes, in front and behind. The first animal was like a lion, the second like a bull. The third animal had a human face, and the fourth animal was like a flying eagle. Each of the four animals had six wings and had eyes all the way around as well as inside. The day and day and night, they never stop singing. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God, the Almighty. He was, he is, and he is to come. Every time the animals glorified and honor and give thanks to the one sitting on the throne who lives forever and ever, the 24 elders prostrated themselves before him and worshiped the one who lives forever and ever and threw down their crowns in front of the throne, saying, you are our Lord and our God. You are worthy of glory and honor and power because you made all the universe and it was only by you that everything was made and exists. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Response, holy, holy, 
Holy is the Lord God, the Almighty. Holy, 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 holy is the is Lord, Lord God, God the Almighty. Almighty. Praise God in his, monk, in his holy place. Praise him in his mighty heavens. Praise him for his powerful deeds. Praise his surpassing greatness. Holy, 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 holy is the Lord God, God Almighty. Oh, praise him with songs of trumpet. Praise him with lute and harp. Praise him with timbrel and dance. Praise him with strings and the pipes. Holy, 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 holy is the Lord God, God the mighty. Oh, praise him with resounding cymbals. Praise him with clashing of cymbals. Let everything that lives and has breath give praise to the Lord. Holy, 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 holy is the Lord, Lord God Almighty. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. When anyone obeys what Christ has said, God loves come to perfection in him. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. My sisters, my brothers, the Lord be with you and, and with, with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. A glory to you, o Lord. Lord. While the people were listening, Jesus went on to tell a parable because he was near Jerusalem and they imagined that the kingdom of God was going to show itself then and there. Accordingly, he said, a man of noble birth went to a distant country to be appointed king and afterwards returned. He summoned 10 of his servants and gave them 10 pounds. Do business with these, he told them, until I get back. But his compatriots detested him and sent a delegation to follow him with this message. We do not want this man to be our king. Now on his return, having received his appointment as king, he sent for those servants to whom he had given the money to find out what profit each had made. The first came in and said, Sir, your one pound has brought in ten. Well done, my good servant, he replied. Since you have proved yourself faithful in a very small thing, you shall have the government of ten cities. Then came the second and said, Sir, your one pound has made five. To this one he also said, And you shall be in charge of five cities. Next came the other and said, Sir, here is your pound. I put it away safely in a piece of linen because I was afraid of you, for you are an exacting man. You pick up what you have not put down and reap what you have not sown. You wicked servant, he said. Out of your own mouth I condemn you. So you knew I was an exacting man, picking up what I have not put down and reaping what I have not sown? Then why did you not put my money in the bank? On my return, I would have drawn it out with interest. And he said to those standing by, Take the pound from him and give it to the man who has ten pounds. And they said to him, But sir, he has ten pounds. I tell you, to everyone who has will be given more. But from the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away. But as for my enemies who did not warn me for the king, bring them here and execute them in my presence. When he had said this, he went on ahead, going up to Jerusalem. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. One of the beautiful things about this parable is that it tells us that God trusts in people, in human beings. And I don't think we should expect that. But he does. He trusts in us. He entrusts us with gifts and talents. But we have to try to understand why those gifts and talents. For the building up of the human family, for the building up of the city of God here on earth. To build a world order for the common good, 
And he knows because of the sin of Adam and Eve, he realized that that is really beyond us. So that is why the Lord ensure our success by redemption, by empowerment, and by wisdom. So we have what it takes to win, no? in order to do what God wants us to do. God expects us, he trusts that we use, that we are good stewards of the, his many gifts and graces. Good stewards of his many gifts and graces. And don't forget why he gave them to us. No? It's a build of the human family, the build of the human community. No? But the one guy who did not invest well, notice what happened. The Lord called him wicked. No? Whether he was wicked, lazy, both of them indicate that it is a sin. And God does not like that. And the, the, the depth of the sin is really betraying God's trust. God has trusted that I and you, that we are able to build this earth according to his command. When we don't do that, we are betraying the trust of God. No? And, and so we realize that we must use the gifts and talents, whatever God has given to us, to develop, first of all, a gospel-centered spiritual life. No? Everything rests with us. The kingdom of God comes, first of all, in our hearts. A gospel-centered spiritual life. But then we must accept that that spiritual life must not be treated, one person put it nicely, as a private preserve of spiritual comfort. Now, that's, that's a nice phrase just to say that we must not be selfish. No? In, in other words, that spiritual life that we must develop, that gospel-centered spiritual life must not be a private preserve of spiritual comfort. It's just about I finding comfort. And that's it. That's not why God, it, that's part of it. But that is only the beginning of why God has invested all of these things in us. Invested these things in us for his glory and for the common good. For the building of the human species, building up of humanity. No? For the sake of humanity. And, and therefore what it means then we must be careful as to how we manage our lives. Must be careful as to how we, we actualize our stewardship, no? And always remember that our purpose, whatever we call it, and we find meaning in life, only when our investment, when we invest God's gifts and talents and graces in our daily life. The spirituality is not a, a private thing. It's God invested in us. It's not just for me to feel good. It's to go out and to build the kingdom of God on earth as in heaven. That is something we must always remember, no? So that's why God has done it. So God's plan and purpose then, God's plan and purpose for the universe as we know it, his plan and purpose for the universe then, will be realized only in us and through us. What it means then is God really put his trust in humanity. Huh? I don't think that when people do us anything that is bad, we, we don't want to trust them. But despite the sin, God is putting his trust in us. But we have redemption, we have the Holy Spirit, all of the graces, we have all of that. And we have God's word, God's wisdom to help us on the way to ensure that we, that we do well. And with regard to reward, again, it, it sounds bad, just like the person indicated when they tell him, but, but he has 10 pounds. How are you going to take the one? But 
again, remember, this is a parable. But how it really works is about a reward. Our reward is really in the investment. Yeah? If you invest well, you're going to have a good life. If you invest badly, you're not going to have a good life. So, the better the investment of ourselves, of the gifts God given to us, the better the investments, the better the returns. But once the investment is not good, we are the losers. So what, what the Lord said there shouldn't be sounding difficult. It's the truth. If I invest what God has given to me the way God wants, I create a beautiful society and I, I live in peace and I have a wonderful time. But if I don't invest and hide them, I only use them for myself, then obviously I help to create a society in which that I find difficult to live in. So we are the ones have to understand that, that the whole idea of who we are, why we are here, has a lot to do with God. It's, it, I always try to say to people, the human community, the building of the human community is not a human project. It's God's project. That's why you can't talk about politics and don't bring religion into it. It is God's project. It's just that the political people, they deal with a certain aspect. And the churches deal with another aspect. But both aspects belong together. It is all God's project. So let us remember, all of the gifts and talents that we have is not, let me, let me go for the praise, is not the, the phrase. The, the, these, that spiritual investment of God, gifts and talents, graces and so forth, is not to be treated as a private preserve of spiritual comfort. I feel so good. So I don't bother with others. It is for our own enrichment and for investment in the wider community. For God, for church, and for country. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Respond, Lord Jesus, we are your brothers and sisters. Lord Jesus, we are your brothers and sisters. We give thanks to Christ and we praise him because he was not ashamed to call us his brothers and sisters. Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus, we are your brothers and sisters. Help us to live the new life of Easter so that men may know through us the power of your love. Lord Jesus, we are your brothers and sisters. Every day has a proof, is a proof of your love. As you bring us to this new day, Make us new in mind and in heart. Lord Jesus, we are your brothers and sisters. Teach us, teach us to see you present in all men. Help us to recognize you most of all in those who suffer. Lord Jesus, we are your brothers and sisters. May our lives today be filled with your compassion. Give us a spirit of forgiveness and a generous heart. Lord Jesus, we are your brothers and sisters. And let us lift to Francis and Jason, our bishops, and pray that their ministry will inspire us to trust in God's grace, to empower us to make good use of the gifts, talents, and graces God has given us to build our families, our church, and our nation. We pray. Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus, we are, we are your brothers, brothers and sisters. Look lovingly upon the, the sick who are struggling with cancer and other illnesses. Let your powerful right hand touch them and help them weather through the storms of health problems. We pray. Lord, Lord Jesus, we are your brothers and sisters. God of love, grant the petitions in our hearts. May we willingly serve you with the many gifts and talents and graces which you have, with which you have blessed us. We pray. Lord, Lord Jesus. Jesus. We are your brothers and sisters. May holy communion fill us with your holy presence, Lord Jesus, and the power of the Holy Spirit, that we may use the gifts, talents, time, and resources the Father has given us to glorify God 
to bless God's name and establish God's will on earth as in heaven. And we make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you, fruit of the earth. Work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, Lord. And may our sacrifice in your sight today be pleasing to you, Lord our God. Wash us, Lord, from our iniquity and cleanse us from our sin. Pray, my sisters, pray, my brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, O Lord, we pray that what we offer in the sight of your majesty may obtain for us the grace of being devoted to you and gain us the prize of everlasting happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created a human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it is only right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, a font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Holy Spirit upon them, like the Jew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many 
for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Save, save us, Savior of the world. For by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jason, our Bishop, all the religious, the clergy, and your entire people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And we lift up to the Lord, Manny Dasby Harrison. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. And we lift up the souls whose names are written and placed at the foot of this altar. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. My dear friends, let us now call out to God, our Father, thanking God for all the wonderful gifts that he has given to us and the empowerment that he might use them aright. So we need to bless his name and as we call out to God, our Father, we lift up, asking for healing, our brother Errol Russell, as we dare say, our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven. heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come. Thy, thy will be done, be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for Lord the kingdom. And the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give to you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your holy will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your, your spirit. spirit. Moved by God's love, let us share with one another the divine peace, the peace of God. Lamb, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy.
My sisters, my brothers, behold Jesus, behold the Lamb of God who takes away our sins and the sins of all the world. Blessed are those invited to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ be for us a healing remedy and keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. We come, come to, to your table to worship, O oh Lord. We, we come, come with, with our hearts filled with joy. Where two or three are gathered in my name, there am I rejoicing in your midst. We, we come, come to your table to worship, O oh Lord. We come with, with our hearts filled with hope. Eat of my body and drink of my blood. You will have eternal life in me. We come to your table to worship, O oh Lord. We come with our hearts filled with love. Love one another as I have loved you. This is the greatest gift of all. We come to your table to worship, O oh Lord. We come with our hearts filled with joy. Where two or three are gathered in my name, there am I rejoicing in your midst. Let us, dear friends, make the act of spiritual communion. My Lord Jesus, we believe that you are truly present in the most holy sacrament of the altar, full of love, of goodness, of all the wonderful gifts that we need uh, to belong to you and to build you a kingdom on earth as in heaven. Lord Jesus, we love you above all the things, and 
we desire nothing more than to receive into our hearts and souls and minds. But Lord, at this moment, we cannot receive you sacramentally. So come to us in a spiritual manner. Come, Lord, and live inside of us. Come, Lord, and embrace us and give us that blessed assurance that we belong to you. And teach us how to unite ourselves wholly and completely to you. And Lord, never permit us to be separated from you. Amen. Stand for the benedictor. Show us your mercy, O Lord. Remember your holy covenant. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and redeemed them. He has Amen. raised up for us a mighty Savior in the house of David, his servant, as he promised by the lips of holy ones those who are his prophets from of old. A Savior who will free us from all foes from the hands of all who hate us, so his love for our fathers is fulfilled and his holy covenant remembered. He swore to Abraham our father to grant us that free from fear and saved from the hands of our foes, we might serve him in holiness and justice all the days of our life in his presence. As for you, little child, you shall be called the prophet of God the Most High, you shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his ways before him. To make known to his people their salvation through forgiveness of all their sins. The loving kindness of the heart of our God who visits us like the dawn from on high. He will give light to those in darkness, those who dwell in the shadow of death, and guide us into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it's now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Show, Show us, us your, your mercy, mercy O Lord. Lord. Remember, Remember your holy covenant. covenant. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Novena for the souls in purgatory, seventh day. Our Father who art mm -hmm. in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this, this day our daily, daily bread. bread. And, and forgive us our trespasses. trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners, now, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As, As it was, was in the beginning, beginning is now, now, and ever shall be, be world without end. Amen. Eternal Father, Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, Son, our Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ in atonement for our sins and those of the souls in purgatory. For the sake of his soulful passion, 
Have mercy on us and the souls in purgatory. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the souls in purgatory. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the souls in purgatory. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and the souls in purgatory. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and the souls in purgatory. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and the souls in purgatory. Today we bring the souls of all the faithful departed to the mercy of God. Immerse them in your unfathomable mercy. Remember your loved ones. Most merciful Jesus, whose heart is love itself, receive into the abode of your most compassionate heart the souls of those who particularly extol and venerate the greatness of your mercy. In the midst of all afflictions and adversities, they go forward confident of your mercy. Jesus, Savior and Redeemer, embrace them with your eternal light and put your peace deep within them. Eternal Father, turn your merciful, merciful gaze upon the souls who glorify and venerate your greatest attribute, that of your unfathomable mercy, and who are enclosed in the most compassionate heart of Jesus. These souls are living the gospel. Their hands are full of deeds of mercy and their spirits overflowing with joy. Sing a canticle of mercy to you, O Most High. I beg you, O God, show them your mercy according to the hope and trust they have placed in you. Grant that they may have eternal life and be raised up on the last day. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May God Almighty bless you and keep you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace, glorifying the Lord with our lives. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Oh, his son, it's his birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Shanti. Happy birthday to you. God is blessing you now. God is blessing you now. God is blessing you, dear Shanti. God is blessing. Number 295, tell all my people are one. Stand, Stand together, together for what you believe. believe. Work, Work for what must be done. Love each other in all, in all that, that you do. Tell all my people are one. Spread the peace, my brothers. Spread it everywhere. Make the world know right from wrong, and the world to care. Stand together for what you believe. Work for what must be done. Love each other in all that you do. Till all my people are one. Cry out the sound of freedom. Make every sound to be heard. People crying painfully. Hear their every word. Stand together for what you believe. Work for what must be done. Love each other in all that you do. Till all my people are one. Till all my people